Hey, it's me, Daniel Daughtry. First of all, I'd like to thank you for wanting to judge uh, CX debate, also known as policy debate. Basically, in CX debate, uh, there's going to be two teams. There's going to be an affirmative team and a negative team. They're going to be debating about whether a policy should be passed or not. The affirmative, obviously, is going to be affirming a certain policy that they come up with. So they will uh, basically say that we need to pass this one policy because it is good for these reasons. The negative is going to try to refute that. They'll be saying that the uh, policy that the AF is proposing is bad for whatever reasons. And so basically at the end of the day, what you will actually be judging on or what decides the round is that you need to vote on the team that argues best. You need to do your absolute best to put your biases aside and do not be biased at all. Remember, vote for the team that argues the best, not what you believe is or in your mind is right, but who argues better. And one thing that will really help with trying to decide who argues better is seeing which team goes more in depth of analysis of their evidence. For example, if a team is just like, here's a piece of evidence and I'm just going to read through it and that's it versus a team that like reads through an a piece of evidence that actually explains everything in it, it's very obvious that the team that goes and analyzes the evidence, reading through it and analyzing everything that it says, is obviously a better debater. And so basically vote for the team that also goes more in depth with their evidence rather than saying, here's a piece of evidence that exists. And also another pretty important thing here is the ballot. So in the ballot, there are a few things. So there's the name, the round, like who's on the affirmative team, negative team, and whatnot. You'll be writing that basically once you get into the round. So if you look in this big old spot right there, it's pretty blank. So in there, you can pretty much, you divide it into any way you want to. Uh, so yeah, divide it into any way you want to, and you write any critiques that you have for the team, maybe your route or the way, Tell them why you voted the way you did. And one thing that one or many debaters hate is when they don't have or when they have a ballot that has nothing written on it. So do your absolute best to give them at least some type of critique because that'll help us as a debater grow to be better. And another really important thing on here, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but basically under name it also has a spot that says points. So that means speaker points. And there you're going to be ranking or giving points to a person from one to 30, depending on how well they speak. Uh, 30 being the best and one being the worst. Most of the time people usually get like 20-ish, 20 or high tw mid to high 20s because like no one's really that bad at speaking or that good at speaking. So you give them points based off of how well you believe they speak. 1 to 30 range, or 1 to 30 range, and then beside the points, which I uh, don't know if you saw that last time, but so right here it says rank 1 through 4. So there you will be ranking each person in the round based off of how well they also spoke. You give 1 to the person that spoke the best, and then 4 to the person that spoke the worst, and then 2 and 3 for other two people, obviously. So that's what the ballot looks like. So, brief overview of everything real quick. This is policy debate, so the team, teams will be debating over a specific policy. And the affirmative is going to be presenting a policy that they believe should be passed, and they're going to be arguing that it is good. The negative is going to say, be saying that the policy that the AF presented is bad. And remember, vote for the team that argues best, and do your best not to be biased. And then always also try your absolute best to uh, give some type of critique at the end. Thank you.